Hey folks, this is Matt Bow with Matthew Bow Design Build. We're back on site again in our net zero home and we're standing out on the screen porch that we built uh, as part of this project. I'm here with David McCauley of Royal Building Products. David has come out to tell us about Royal Building Products um, and in particular um, this product that we've used on the decking. It's called Zuri Decking. It's the first time for us using it and we wanted to give David an opportunity to tell you all what's special about it and, and why it's a great product uh, to pick for your project. So, David, thanks for coming out. Th Matt, thanks for having me and we appreciate you using the product. Uh, the, the project looks great. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little briefly about Royal. Uh, basically, you know, we're a 40-plus we're a year old company uh, throughout North America. We have actually are one of the top three vinyl siding companies in North America. We're also one of the top uh, tr PVC trim and molding companies. Uh, but we also do decking, which uh, Zuri Decking came out to the market about seven seven plus years ago we've done beta projects all the way up and down the east coast to really see how it weathers in the sun and the salt mm -hmm. uh, right there on the water and uh, in this market in virginia you know it's been probably five or six years on the market and it's doing very very well uh, it's actually manufactured in our facility right here in virginia so it is a local project i don't even know if you knew that no i didn't one of the things i mentioned to you is as a builder we always want to put in product that we're comfortable with using and um, while I like to look for good products, better products for our clients and new options, um, I can also be stuck in my ways about using product I've been using forever and I know is, is, is bulletproof. Sure. But on this project, the client who uh, was wonderful in the amount of research they did, very involved in every aspect of this project, found Zuri and brought it to us uh, to consider and, and I'm, glad, I'm glad we did. But what I'd love you to do is tell us about about the decking, its composition, you know, sure. and, and why it makes a great choice. Okay, we can jump right into that. So, so basically, this is an alternative to hardwoods. Uh, everyone look, wants that, you know, rich wood-looking product, uh, but not many people these days want to deal with the maintenance. Right. Uh, you know, everyone loves ePay. Problem is, once a year or twice a year, you're supposed to be all in that, and it becomes right. pretty, pretty laborious to do that. So, this product is very simple to explain. Uh, basically, a cellular PVC substrate. And this is actually a photorealistic print of wood. So it's actually a picture of hardwoods. Okay. Um, you know, and that's what really gravitates people to this product. People see it, you know, in the last four years that I've been doing this, I've never had anyone tell me that they don't like the way it looks. Uh, so that's usually the driver for people to first start, you know, looking at it. But probably the biggest thing about this, one of the things that sets us apart is the acrylic cap on top of this. Okay. As far as I know, we're really the only people that are using a clear acrylic cap over top of something as a cap for decking. So uh, acrylic really sets us apart because it has UV inhibitors in it that really basically keep it from fading. Okay. So we have a 25 year fade warranty on this product that pretty much over time, you're not gonna really see a shift in color. We've actually, you know, even though it's been on the market for only uh, seven years or so, we've actually tested these in real world uh, testing methods through the American Standards mm -hmm. of Testing yeah. to see the fade rate, to see also the scratch resistance. Um, so. Talk about that real briefly because, uh, you know, I hear you say it's a, it's a, uh, a photo image, a realistic photo image on the uh, cellular PVC substrate. So that was one thing that I, you know, had to give pause about. So tell me about that. Tell me why that's durable. Tell me why I shouldn't be concerned about that. Sure. The, uh, again, going back to the acrylic, uh, much stronger than typical cap stocks. Um, and it's, it's not very, doesn't have to be very thick. So a typical cap stock would be? A lot of times it would be just a, a regular PVC right. cap. So okay. some people are using composite materials with wood fibers and everything else in it. And then they're capping it with something that's most more PVC. -er. You know, they have their own proprietary right. cap. Mm -hmm. um, but with this acrylic, basically, because we're able to put the UV inhibitors in it, and it's such a hard material, you know, we've tested this, and it actually has a better, it's stronger than what we found in some laminate flooring that has a 50-year warranty. Okay. So they do what's called a taper test, where they actually try to scratch it through the sure. rotations. Uh, and this did better than most composites. It also did better than the interior flooring. Um, and the fade rate is exceptional. Okay. I mean, we actually tested this under what's called a QUV chamber. Most, you know, most people will test their products about... Two, uh, above 2,000 hours. Mm -hmm. We've actually went, it, we this, went as far as testing this for 17,000 hours, okay. which could be equivalent to about 30-year exposure. 
and basically almost undetectable to the naked eye after the, that, that, that amount of time. Is that testing that Royal Building Products does, or you do that in an independent laboratory? Or? Well, it's basically the same testing that all the other products are using. Okay. So the ASTM, if you're familiar with that, sure. uh, uses the Tabor test, uses QUV chambers uh, to really test how it's going to actually you know, really work out. Uh -huh. the, the okay. And, and then how about a warranty? Uh, you've got a fade warranty. Is there a warranty on scratch resistance? It, basically 25 years on everything. So okay. you have 25 years on the actual substrate itself from peeling or cracking, uh, splitting. Uh, you also have a 25 year fade warranty as well. Right. So people shouldn't assume though that this product's indestructible. You can't just drag stuff, as you can with any product, any hardwood, PVC, yeah. other decking boards. We like to tell people, uh, you know, of course it's not bulletproof. Sure. Um, you know, you want to treat it like a floor. Um, it, it is, yes, very durable, um, but, you know, I've seen things dr drug across it and it's fine. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, you want to treat it like a floor. Sure. And we want to be realistic about that because sometimes a uh, product is pushed as being absolutely maintenance-free. You never have to touch it. It's, it's bulletproof. We like to use that term. Right. In reality, we need to be realistic with our clients and they need to know what to expect because... There's nothing you can put down that you can just do anything you want to. You got, you got to take care with just about any product. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, a lot of people ask me because if you look at this board, um, you can see the substrate, and this this layer looks pretty fairly thin. Mm -hmm. And people ask me, what about scratching and denting? What if something breaks through there? Uh, I'll tell you, in the last four or five years, I've seen one time something actually break through this cap, which was a lot very similar to this, where a large tree branch fell 30 feet onto the deck. That is the only time okay. that I actually saw something penetrate into the substrate. So that's not covered in warranty? That would not be covered <laughs> in the warranty, no. Um, but besides that, you know, some, some superficial scratches, what normally I find is that, I'll go out to a project and say, well, I got some scratches here. What I usually find is that it's not actually a scratch on the decking product. Mm -hmm. It is actually something that rubbed off onto oh, it. Right. So, you know, your shoe or something else, plastic gets stuck on top of here which can easily come off because because it is so hard and durable, you can actually even pressure wash this with a pressure wash up to 2,500 PSI. Okay. A lot of composites and other manufacturing companies you can't do that with. You cannot do that because you'll see the It'll carve it out. Yes. Okay. So, you know, it's not needed to clean. You can certainly just spray it off with a hose, uh, very easy maintenance. Uh, but if someone only wanted to after installation, they got a lot of mud or something caked on it, you can certainly take the pressure washer up to 2,500 BSI, okay. and it certainly will not hurt it. Okay, and so um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of show this up a little, much you know, kind of an extended view so you can take a look at at the appearance of it. It is really an attractive board, um, and it really gives you kind of a furniture grade look on on your flooring. And I would imagine this comes in obviously, and I know not imagine I know it comes in a lot of different colors. It does. You actually have five different colors. Uh, it also comes in a square board, which can be used with a camo gun. Uh, it also comes in a, uh, also comes in a groove board, which you would use basically hidden fasteners with. Sure. Uh, so you could do uh, either one. The uh, you know the way it's installed it actually comes in 12, 16, and 20 foot boards, so you don't have to worry about a lot of breaks or butt joints, uh, which makes it a lot easier than doing some other hardwood decking where you're doing a lot of different butt joints. Right. This ends up being a, a nicer looking, cleaner project. Okay, so 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 the, the the selling proposition on this is that is the durability and the realistic uh, reproduction of a of a wood board. Absolutely, uh, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it'll basically it's going to give you that rich wood look that you want. Uh, it really comes the closest to a real wood looking product that I've seen uh, compared to actual real wood. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely, that's the selling point. Okay. And so, uh, real quickly, uh, if people want to source this product, they've got to go to their building suppliers. I mean, yeah, the way you know this is man again manufactured down in Marion, Virginia, but we do have throughout throughout the country we have local uh, what we call two-step distributors that actually store these products. Okay. So you can easily get this at any lumber yard locally. Uh, they can contact our distributor. It can be out within the next day or two. Okay. Um, it's very very simple to get. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for coming out. This, this particular product has gone a long way to really making this outside screen porch uh, a warm, comfortable, uh, attractive space. You can see the fireplace behind us and the television up top. And I know this owner looks to get many, many years of, uh, of great enjoyment 
out here. And of course, the Zuri decking is a big part of that. So David, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you very much, man. Okay, appreciate it.